Hey there everybody, Alec Bobger here inside at Alterowitz Gymnasium as the MSUB men and women big time GNAC doubleheader this afternoon. On the women's side, it's Seattle Pacific and MSUB who are two and three in the conference right now. The MSUB women are just three and three at home. We'll pick it up with MSUB trailing by six in the first half when Aspen Giese beats the shot clock with this baseline jumper. Now Giese's a lights out shooter without a contest. Here she knocks down the corner three. She was in double figures this afternoon. Now to Courtney Nelson, who creates the jumper here for Carrie Ann Kunkel to cap a 15-2 run. Gives MSUB a 25-21 lead at the break. Second half now, Jacket's going to go high-low here to Terrence Shelley. She's rounding into form after suffering a broken foot earlier this year. The Falcons really struggle to score in the second half, but here they beat the Jacket's zone for an easy deuce underneath. But MSUB had an answer for every run. Shelley showing off the shooting range here as she splashes it in from deep. And MSUB is going to move to 14-4 and four as Shyla Montagu buries it from way outside as the Jackets roll this afternoon. Mick Durham's guys taking on Western Oregon and looking for their sixth consecutive win. But the Wolves attacking early. Javel Collins rewarded for a hard cut to the basket as he kisses it off the glass. MSUB was strong in the opening half though. This is Emmanuel Ajanaku showing off his shooting touch from 17 feet. And then Ajanaku gets ahead of the pack and flushes this thing home with two hands plus the foul. Western Oregon not going away. A slick pocket pass as Cameron Benzel able to get three the hard way. But the Jacket men are going to remain unbeaten in conference play. Steven Richardson all the way to the rack on the break as MSUB holds on late 68-59. In Billings, Alec Boffinger, MTN Sports.